Okay, you're live, man. Hello, my friends. Uh, in this video, we're gonna make an open from the living room to the kitchen. And uh, we're gonna show you how to properly frame an opening with a bearing, bearing wall, hold the weight wall. As, uh, Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna try one more time? Okay. Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, Bayano here. In this channel, we help homeowners to take take charge of their own project and get the job done. Let's work. Okay. Let's show you guys the other side of the wall. We can walk through here or go around. I, I just have this uh, two by four here just to support the the truss. Not a lot of weight in there, but how we gonna do it? Yeah, we measure and we cut out the side of the open that we want in here, and now uh, we didn't go all the way for the seal because we just don't want to remove all the cord, we just got wants to leave it. Yeah, this is a bearing wall, so we need to put some uh, a head to support it. I'm going to use uh, wood screws, it is a square head and I uh, use a square bit and uh, they are good for wood. So I just put one screw to hold in there and I have this one already pre-cut to support the support that I put, we call it a creep. Okay, so I put this to support, nice and tight. Gonna put a few more screws in here. have the two by one two by ten in there is enough uh, is enough to support the weight for now I just need to remove this uh, two by four here to use it on the other side so I just gonna remove one of it Just cutting here the clip to support the the opening there, the bearing wall. So we, I just use this as a measurement. I not even use a tape. I just put it there. A little bit slight, about uh, one little bit eight more than this because, like you can see, is I just mark it a little bit short. A little bit longer gonna be uh, because I have the pencil mark 
Plus I have the saw cut, so I have to give that deduction for the saw. The cut and the difference and the plus uh, we need it tight. By for that we just cut, I just want it to go tight. Yeah, it it should be tight. That way support the weight. I'm just gonna put it like that, guys. I just want to put the sada piece in because we have two pieces. We have two pieces to buy ten, so I just want to slide the sad one in. With the screws, I'm just gonna put some screws now that is supported. Good to go. Gonna be there together and uh, hold good tight, give it strength. In some case, you can use uh, glue. Try not to use glue, so I'm gonna put the extra screws. And from here, I'm just gonna put. Uh, some screws to the top, I gotta put this way to hold on the plate up there, like you guys can see. A Dewalt drill, good piece to have the wood timer. But work great up to today. Yeah, we used to buy 10 on this one because we just have them around. But you could use like for the weight that we have in here, you could use even two by six. This is just to hold the truss up there and uh, just the extra support. I'm gonna take some measurement once we know exactly the size of the opening. We're gonna put probably another extra piece in here. One extra piece of two by four, right on the corner where we want the open to finish. And another one here on the top to make sure it's uh, the right size. First, we gotta take some measurement for the cabinet, and then we decide 100% how big gonna be the open. But no, this part is done, and uh, looking good. So I'm gonna use this clump to try to tighten up the two by four a little bit. Now 
we're just gonna put some screws on it hold it on place nice and tight We put a 2 2 by 10 for a header to support the weight and put two, 4 2 by 4 in here. We only install two. We installed 2 2 by 4 2 were already from the wall, so this is done. And then once we have the measurement of the exact measurement for the kitchen, we're just gonna cut a bit more in here. This is part of the half duplex handle, and we have more vid, and we link it. That way you can guys check it out. Thank you very much. And I love you guys. Thank you for your support. And uh, if you want to see more video, please click on that very face and take you to subscribe. Thank you very much.